everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing something different today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of experimenting on thermostats. Uh, I've got went and grabbed a brand new OEM thermostat and I'm going to test it against the thermostat that I've had in here which is currently the AutoZone Special. It was the 170 degree thermostat because I think that was the lowest one they offered. Um, but yeah, uh, I haven't started it at all this year. Uh, I've been kind of battling heating issues uh, or cooling issues. Um, been battling heat, I should I should have said. But yeah, um, on the, the coolant bypass tube on the back of my block going from the water pump to the thermostat housing, um, I've always had a broken bolt in it in the last eight years. Uh, the top bolt has always has been broke off like eight years ago. Uh, I just, every time I pull it out, I forget to drill it and tap it out. So I've kind of just been rocking it. And uh, so far, you know, the last year I was, I was battling all my coolant issues and I forgot about that, that bolt. Um, but, uh, you know, I started tearing into it again and, uh, you know, tidied up all my coolant hoses, uh, replaced one of the hoses because it was kind of porous, uh, it seemed to be seeping out through the uh, rubber through the actual hose itself um, after it was sitting all winter. Um, and, you know, I just took the intake manifold off and uh, was gonna replace the oil cooler, but uh, did not have a short enough bolt to put my sandwich plate on. So, I uh, just threw that back on. It didn't look like it was leaking. I filled it up and capped both ends and shook it around and couldn't find any leaks or anything on that. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and rock it. Then I thought, hmm, I wonder if my uh, thermostat is even opening all the way. So uh, I read a couple things online where the uh, auto store, or the auto parts stores, do not open up all the way. They're supposed to eight, open eight millimeters, and uh, on average, most of the parts stores open about four millimeters whenever it's at two hundred and ten degrees Fahrenheit. So. We're gonna go ahead and test that theory. Um, I'm gonna, I've got the one that I pulled out of my car and hopefully we'll find something, you know, funky with it. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to throw the OEM one in and then all my issues will be solved. And yeah, well, let's get to it. All right, so if you look at from here to here, which is the plunger that stops the flow of the thermostat, from here to here, this one's almost double, which is, this is the OEM one. And this is the part store one. So that uh, the plunger is double almost, well, I'd say about at least half the size bigger than this size. Um, and it's at a smooth angle, so it's going to allow uh, coolant to flow a lot faster than right here. It's going to have to actually force fluent coolant. It's going to actually have to force coolant through here versus right here. It's just going to flow straight through. And the nozzle, if you look at the, uh, the top neck of it, um, see how this one's a whole lot more open? The, um, uh, sorry, I'm not an octopus. I don't have it's like a three hands. But if you look at right here, it's going to allow the coolant to flow out a whole lot faster because they're skinnier, they're taller. And right here, it's going to kind of bottleneck it because it's flat. And then right here on this thermostat, it's got a webbing right here. So it's going to kind of bottleneck it and then kind of cause a lot of turbulence. But you don't want any turbulence whenever you're trying to flow coolant to get rid of uh, heat. You see how wide that one's open? It's going to let a lot of coolant through. Let me pick it up. All right, over here. You see that? These are both at the exact same degree uh, temperature, uh, two hundred like five. It was. Let's see. It's just not that big of a hole or a plunger. If you look through there, it's just not that big of a plunger. So yeah, that's gonna hopefully. This will solve one of my issues. First startup in about four or five months. Uh, 
and yeah she's doing good she's holding 185 strong uh, she's been idling for about uh, 25 30 minutes already and uh, yeah she's doing really good I had to uh, drill out the bolt for the thermostat housing the top one the long one uh, it's been broken for the last eight years but I guess uh, the RTV that I had on the uh, o-ring finally gave way and uh, yeah I've been chasing it ever since so uh, I replaced that or I drilled that and now we got a bolt in there and I got new OEM o-rings for that too and hopefully she'll be strong hopefully we won't be battling any more overheating issues but yeah so uh, stay tuned because we're about to get a ripping <laughs> 